I get really annoyed when I hear so many Democrat representatives like Nancy Pelosi and so many others pushing the notion that if the public votes for conservative things, it's a sign of democracy failing. That the only way a democracy can properly function is if everyone votes for the Democrats and leftward-leaning ideas. How long has this been going on? I can't really recall this attitude in the 90s. You know, I don't remember people saying that if Republicans win, we've lost our democracy. I'm not even sure I remember it in the aughts. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it just kind of seems that this all started since TDS came into place. And let me be clear, I understand some people's concerns. Some people's concerns. Project 2025 and their over 900-page mandate for leadership is quite alarming. I'll leave a link to it in the description. It's a rather bigoted playbook for how they want the next Republican president to dismantle parts of, resize, and reorganize the government. And it definitely has massive preferential treatment to white Christians. But would that mean the end of our democracy? Would that be the end of our being able to vote? No. It means a lot of things would be enacted that would really suck for a lot of demographics. But to blow it up into this notion that, oh, we'll lose our democracy is, is preposterous. Where are people getting these ideas from? Or are some Democrats just absolutely convinced that their side is everything good and virtuous and democratic, and that the other side is everything evil and bigoted and despotic? I don't know.